Korean fried chicken, follow my hand, everybody. So we got a whole chicken here. The best thing about Korean fried chicken, I'd say in my opinion, is that Koreans don't waste anything. And that's what I like. <laughs> that's what I like. So that's what I like, so that's what I'm gonna do. So we gotta disassemble this whole chicken here, like so, ladies and gentlemen. Make some room. Okay, the best thing about Korean fried chicken as well, guys, is that there are a lot of pieces, okay? So if you don't know about eating Korean fried chicken, it's pretty much a lot of small, good pieces, and you kind of just drink it with beer in pretty much perspective. It's like, it's pretty much like little pieces like this, okay? You push it aside. We can share a piece. You can eat a piece. You can give a piece. It's just all nice, small pieces. Well, the ones I had, okay, the ones I had. You can leave it whole if you want, but me, preferably, small pieces. So just cut it up, okay? Next one. Beautiful. Okay. Yes. Kevin, are you watching? We're cutting up a chicken. Look at this. Look at that drum. You get a drum and you get a, uh, what is it? Bonus bite. <laughs> yeah, nice bonus bite there. So, boom, boom, boom. For the chicken breast. That's what I'm gonna do. Right down the middle. Once you got that right down the middle. Let's make little nuggets. Okay. Season half tablespoon salt, tablespoon mushroom seasoning, black pepper, tablespoon of onion powder, tablespoon of garlic powder. Ooh, a little too much. But in the name of cooking, we still run with it. Okay, mix that up and let this marinate for 30 minutes. Eh? Let's go. Let that marinate. Batter time. Very simple batter. Very simple and easy. One cup of flour, half a cup of cornstarch here. We got one tablespoon of baking powder. Mix well, my friend, very well. Flour coating in, half of that. Shake it in, shake it in very well. Second batch of that, right on top. I guarantee for sure that everybody's getting coated. Every single crack of this chicken is getting coated with this. Beautiful flour, okay? There we go, we got peanut oil here, heating for about 20 minutes. After 20 seconds of chops, I'm gonna see beautiful bubble bubbling up like so. Oh, it's hot and ready. Ladies and gentlemen, let's start the frying. So, don't overcrowd the pool, all right? Everybody into the pool. I don't care if they can swim. They just have to get in cooking time for this. I'm gonna do six minutes, okay? And we're gonna do a double fry. Here comes out the first fry. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the second time fry, so two times fry. We got it in for another additional or another six minutes, okay? So, six minutes, six minutes. Take it out. Let's go. One pan. Three tablespoons of oil in. Three tablespoons of garlic in. Once nice and fragrant. One big heaping scoop of gochujang. A Korean hot paste in. Fry. Once fried all around. One cup of ketchup in. Once we got that fried in, three tablespoons. A liquid organic honey. And goes a tablespoon of sugar. One cup of water. And let that reduce down for about eight minutes. Once you got it bubbling like so, ladies and gentlemen, in goes your chicken. Look at that. Eat the game, man. Can I fold in your chicken for you? Look at this, look at this, wow! And that hurts! So close up, sesame seeds, we'll call it a day. You guys probably thought I was done here, but I'm not. 
side of fries to really, really top this off, ladies and gentlemen. Cheese. <laughs> cheese. Just cheese, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Well, let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Cheers. This is soda water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's soda water. Gumby. Let's go. Chicken. Ooh, it's a cheese. Okay, some fries. Okay, if this is not the most American, oh no, <laughs> Korean American thing, you gotta pop it off. That's what I love, guys. Their twist, their take on their Korean fried chicken. Super of this. Mmm. Fries and cheese. If this is not the best drinking food ever. <laughs> After the it's delicious. The most amazing, most deathless thing ever. So I like this. I like this a lot. One thing I really like, enjoy this. One reason why I really enjoy this because the small bites you get, well, semi small bites, and the bone and chicken. If it was me, preferably, but I did this for you guys for the fries and the cheese. The fries and cheese is really good, but me, preferably, I like it with just white rice. White rice is delicious, but. Still very delicious. So my wife doesn't want any fried chicken. I am cooking um uh, calm. So you guys can watch it on my channel, my Vietnamese channel. So a lot of guys might say, Juan, where's your wife? She's on my Vietnamese channel. She likes the Vietnamese food more. <laughs> Just because she's Vietnamese, come on. I'm not so used to the North American food yet. But she's getting yeah, no, she likes it here and there, but not too much. More Vietnamese food. She's making bun me right now, too. So. Wanna show you bun me, my love? Wanna bring the bun me? My wife is making Vietnamese baguette right now for the ball call or the beef stew tonight, like this. Oh! The shop is opening, okay? Just wait, the bun me shop is coming. Why is bun me looks delicious? Thank you, my love. Yeah. So cute. <laughs> so. I think throughout Asian culture, it's about drinking and eating. Okay, slow down, speed racer. Holy, where is he or she racing to? I don't know. But the best part of life is just um, like just mini bits like this. Join some company, my love. <laughs> and just eating your chick. Mmm. Some of you guys ask, Fun, why don't you do Vietnamese food? Guys, I do a lot of Vietnamese food on QT Vietnam channel. Only Vietnamese me speaking. I will work on adding English titles for you guys, right? I'm gonna work on that. So for the people that really likes it and enjoy Vietnamese me sweet, you guys will understand it too, okay? 